Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Renegade Platinum Let's Play. And if you guys missed out in the last episode, we finally made it here to Jubilee City. Also went and got to interact with Davey and give him uh, the parcel so that we can now be able to uh, finally figure out where we need to go to. But it's okay, since I kind of already know about the basis of this game, I know that we're going to be heading on over to Orenburg City to go and take care of our very first gym leader, which that is going to be work. Now, again, I also did let you guys know, I think in the last episode, that I did go and check out Roar's team. His max level, I believe, for his Cranium Dose is at level 16 uh, because Driano did kind of up on all the different uh, Pokemon that uh, Roar or any other type of gym leader is going to be having. So I know that uh, his Cranium Dose is going to be at level 16 and I think all of his other Pokemon as well are going to be sitting at level 15 as well, which that should be a little bit terrifying, but I think we should be okay because as long as I do some off record grinding after once this video is done, I think we should be somewhat prepared. I don't know if we are going to be able to go and uh, take care of everything that we do need to do in Roar's Gym, but we'll see how uh, far uh, this episode is going to take us to. But I know that for right now in this episode, we are going to be taking care of Davey once again. Uh, this time around, I believe he does have like an extra Pokemon. I think uh, Dreano added another Pokemon to his team. I could be wrong uh, because it has been a while since I have uh, played uh, here uh, in Renegade Platinum. But without further ado, let's go and uh, see what is going to be happening out here. And uh, let's go and do a little bit of a team recap and let's go and see what our team is all about. Alright, to go and start with here first, we actually do have Shadow at level 12 with Bite, Spark, Howl, and Quick Attack. Brand new move out here for Shadow, so Bite is going to be, uh, hopefully going to be helpful, uh, throughout us, uh, throughout here, uh, maybe, uh, throughout, uh, our time in Orberg City. We also do have Luffy at level 12 with Scratch, Lear, Ember, and Fury Swipes. We also do have Milo at level 10 with, uh, Confusion, Growl, Hypnosis, and Peck. We also do have Asian Slave, of course, just here, just kind of just chilling for uh, the time being until we actually decide not to uh, need him anymore. But I know that we are going to be needing him for uh, basically for Rock Smash when we actually do need to grab that. We also do have Esper at level 11 with Tackle, State Attack, Bite, and Quick Attack. And we also do have Queen at level 10 with Growl, Water Pulse, Double Kick, and Poison Sting, which I know that uh, we are going to be needing to uh, kind of up on Queen a little bit, but we will be doing that uh, during this episode because I know that we're going to be doing quite a bit of battles once we hopefully be able to go and take care of Davey. So let's go and do that right now. All right, so welcome to Route 203. It's time to go and do this battle out here with Davey. So hey, Prox, tell me that you got a little tougher. Me, do I need to even ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate to you. All right, and here we go. Let our, our things get rolling out here. Okay, so let's see how uh, Davy's team is going to be right now at the levels here in Renegade. So he's going to be starting at uh, level 10 with his Starly, so that is going to be somewhat okay. As long as we go and stuff for a spark, I think we should be alright. So I'm going to kind of go and fast forward this here a little bit. Ooh, nice, we also got a paralysis, so I don't think we really need to fast forward through this. Oh, a potion. Alright, so that's, this seems a little bit strange. Normally, uh... Normally, Barry, I think, in the, in the original Pokemon Final, would never even use a potion. So that's kind of, so that's kind of, kind of, uh, kind of tricking me there a little bit. But not to worry, we got ourselves Starly already finished and done with out here. We got ourselves Munchlax coming out. I think we should probably just stay on in out here for this. I don't know how crazy his Munchlax is going to be. Now, normally, I, I don't even think. Uh, Barry is even supposed to even have a Munchlax during this point in time right now, because I know that he does have a Munchlax, I think, like, later on down the, um, down the road, because I think at Spear Pillar, uh, you actually do get to see him have a Munchlax, but not here at the beginning part of this. So I'm just going to kind of go and fast forward through this. Ooh. I think that, uh, Munchlax just used Bladder, and that's going to kind of bite me in the butt, but I think I should be fine. There we go. Ooh. A little bit scary, but there we go, we snapped out of it. We can still be alive for this. Hey, and the Quick Claw popped, and there we go. That's how we do it. So it's always good to have that Quick Claw to be there. And there we go, guys. Level 13. I know that this seems strange. That Shadow is kind of our highest Pokemon right now, but uh, we should be somewhat okay. We do have a Pip Luck coming. Um, I think we should probably just go and uh, switch over to Milo and see what we can do out here. Okay, so here comes El Piplup. I think we're going to go and set up with the Hypnosis right away and then see how much confusion is going to do. Ooh. Okay, so it doesn't do all that much. Now, I think we could go and just probably just set up with a potion right away. So Piplup is still fast asleep, so we're going to just switch out in the shadow for this one once again. And then start uh, setting up with the spark. And there we go, taking care of the Piplup, and that is how we do it. Alright, nice. And Milo, nope, not even any type of levels at all. 
but we do get ourselves 1100 for winning that, so that is relatively helpful. So uh, what do I, uh, what, what do you mean I've lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer. You know it. First thing to do is to take care of the Orphan City Pokemon Gym, and I'm going to toughen up for that totally. All right. Well, oh yeah, Prox. There were two uh, of another item in that parcel, but here, you can have one. Ooh, so we got ourselves the EXP share. You know what? I don't mind actually adding that to Nidoran Female because I was thinking about actually uh, sticking an EXP share or some sort of thing uh, on Nidoran to help us out with uh, some EXP gaining. So I don't really mind taking the EXP share and uh, we can go and add that to our uh, arsenal of awesome items right there. Alright, so a favorite Pokemon should be placed at the top uh, left of your party list. That will be the first one to go out in battle. Oh, well, thank you for the tip there. But unfortunately, there's going to be no uh, no youngster trainer out here for this part. But there is a hidden shroomish up here. Relatively interesting. And we also do have a silk scarf. I think I'm going to add that silk scarf, I think, probably to, uh, to maybe to Luffy. So probably to help us with our speed. Because I think that's what a silk scarf actually does. Huh. So... Maybe I'll come back to this shroomish a little bit later. I don't know if I may probably need one or not, but it seems pretty interesting that we can actually find a static encounter for that. Ooh, okay, here we go. So we got ourselves a double battle. Kind of a little bit tempted uh, to do this one right now, but I don't know what type of Pokemon I should probably set out here for this. I think I'm just going to probably just leave with uh, both Shadow and Luffy out here for this one and see what we can do. Now, if I ever do need to switch up Pokemon, I will probably do that probably on my first turn. Let's see what we got. Alright, so I've never apart from my Shinx. Our bond is strong. Okay, let's see. So this guy has a Shinx, but we don't really know what the other guy has. So he has a Cricket Shock, and the Shinx is also out here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is probably set up an Ember on the Cricket Shock, because I think that's super effective. So I'm going to set up for a Spark on the Cricket Shock, just so that we can kind of double team up on the Cricket Shock, because I know that Cricket Shock is going to have Bite. And Bite's not going to be very nice, so at least we can go and take care of him out here first. And then we can kind of go and uh, worry about this Shinx out here. So Ember, let's see how much damage that's going to do on the Shinx. Probably not a lot, but we'll kind of just fast forward through this to just see how well we're going to do. Another Spark and another Ember. Alright, there we go. The Clip Clock kind of popped up there for that one. Ooh, Spark's on me. That's not very nice. Uh, let's go and set up for another, uh, well, I could probably set up for a bite, but I don't think that's going to probably knock out the Shinx. Uh, let's just set up for another spark. We'll set that up on the right, so we'll go for a potion up here first. And then we'll worry about setting up for a hyper, uh, or setting up for a, uh, paralyzed heal right after. <laughs> almost said hyper potion there. We're not even there at hyper potions yet. Uh, let's go set up for a bite, and then, uh, actually go for a paralyzed seal right away for that one. I think we should be fine. There we go, and bite. Okay, so bite actually does kill. I thought it wasn't going to do it at all, because I thought we were going to probably still be at the, uh, uh, kind of still at red for the Shinx, but it seems like we're all good with that one. Uh, we do have Sand True. I could probably actually switch out right now and go right into, uh, Queen, because we do actually have Waterfalls. Uh, let's go instead of just for a normal ember out here, see how much we can do. Ooh, okay, that's a little bit terrifying right there. Let's just go set up for a potion right away. <laughs> there we go. No, what the heck? Get out of here, Shantru. I don't have to be freaking out too much because this is all just a normal let's play. Alright, so there we go. Knocked out those, uh, that double battle right there. That was our very first double battle that we were getting into. Hopefully that's not going to be uh, too crazy later on. Because I don't really know what other type of uh, trainers are going to be having other types of Pokemon. Because I know that this is basically uh, a much tougher type of game uh, rather than playing on the normal Pokemon Platinum. So some things are a little bit different uh, from, what I ha uh, from what I have heard about uh, Renegade Platinum for a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Everybody's healed up. I should probably stock up on a little bit more potions, but I think we have super potions coming up later on, I think. I'm probably certain that I think in Orberg City we should run into, high, uh, run into uh, super potions out here. But let's just go fast forward through this. Ooh, wow, a Lotad. Interesting Pokemon to find in here. 
Now, uh, also too, uh, just kind of want to keep transparent with you guys as well too, is that off recording while I was uh, doing some battling and whatnot, I did actually catch myself a Ralt, uh, just so that I can have that as for like a backup Pokemon for Hoot Hoot or something like that uh, later on if I don't really need uh, Knockdown on our team anymore and just kind of use uh, Hoot Hoot as just our main kind of fly type Pokemon, but uh, we'll see what's going to happen later on with that. Now we do actually have Milo for this, so I believe uh, any type of Psychic type moves should actually work well with this Makita and do some nice good, uh, super effective hits. Alright, set it up for a focus energy. Not really all that too afraid about that at all. Alright, nice. Queen's down finally at level 12 and wants to learn Poison Fang. Now that's actually not that too bad of a move. It's gonna be much better than what Poison Sting's gonna be all about, so there we go. Nice. And I'm pretty certain that also too, Poison Fake does have a, uh, also a status effect for the, uh, uh, for Poison, so I think there is still the Poison, uh, 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 like effect that still happens with that, which that, uh, doesn't really mind all that too much. If I don't mind Poison out any type of Pokemon that we do see fit. Ooh, okay. Again. These Machops are out here for blood. Okay, so let's just go to stuff for a bite right here and just kind of... Wow, man, this Machop is just a little bit too crazy. Okay, let me just switch out that. Ooh, okay, well, at least the Intimidate actually kind of helped out with that, because I'm pretty certain I think we would have probably still died if we didn't have Intimidate right there. Alright, there we go. Oh, wow, and I didn't even get myself up to level 14 either from that, from that crazy Machop that literally just happened just a while ago. Jeez. Alright, so welcome back to Jew Life. Let's just go and get ourselves all recharged back up once more. Man, they weren't kidding. Most of these freaking trainers have freaking Machop stars just absolutely crazy out here with these karate chops. Alright, there we go, everybody. Seal it back up again and let's do it. Okay, so let's see what is going to be on beyond here. Now, I know that we just ran to a doe battle and also a wild, uh, another youngster fight out here. Now, we actually do have another double battle fight with two last trainers. Oh, man, here we go. Now, I know before one of these last trainers has, like, a lot of Bidoose, but I'm pretty certain that may probably change. Okay, so let's see. I think this should be relatively simple for Shadow out here. This should be, like, no problem for us at all, I don't think. Alright, there we go. Easily destroyed up with the side up. That is fine with me. Wow, we are always about to be getting up to like a Luxio relatively soon. But I could be wrong because I think it's at level 20 or so that we may probably get ourselves into a Luxio. Uh, here we go. Ember. Wow, this is going to be a really nice good double battle out here. Like, Luffy and Shadow are going to be perfect for this fight. Alright, there we go. Fubo is going to be coming on out. I don't really mind all that too much. Uh, let's just go to for Ember on the sun curve once again. Wow, really? I did it. Back to that. Oh, right, yeah, because because it is a ground type, but I don't know why I went for a spark. Okay, here we go. Fight and Ember. There we go. Wow, nice. We actually got a bird, too. That's relatively helpful out here for that one. Alright, there we go. Got it all scratched up. And I think we'll get a spark to the base and a scratch. Should probably do the trick out here. And there we go. Taking care of both the last trainers out here, and let's just keep on moving forward. Now, I know that there's an item down this way, and I want to make sure to see what type of item that we're going to be uh, picking up here. Okay, well, never mind, Abra. I didn't want to catch you out here, anyways. Even though that uh, I may probably want to have uh, a returning Jafar come back, but I'm kind of happy with having a, having a Ralts on our, uh, on our backup side. Uh, and, uh, you guys, uh, let me know down in the comments down below is, uh, what, uh, evolution do you guys want me to have, uh, for the Rawls? Do you guys want me to have a Gardevoir, or do you guys want me to have a Gallade? Let me know, uh, in the comments down below, because I may potentially use, uh, that Rawls, uh, for our, uh, future episodes throughout here in this game, because, uh, I don't know, I may probably make, uh, Noctowl probably our, uh, permanent flyer to just be there just to, like, glide us around to, like, different areas, because I don't know if I may probably have Milo on the team for so long, but, uh, let me know if you guys have any, uh, suggestions for that. Because for me, personally, I may probably just want to go and, uh, find myself a Dawnstone and, uh, get ourselves a, uh, a nice good old, uh, oh, well, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, wow, it actually does work. Okay. I was a little bit afraid. I didn't know it was, it was not going to be effective or not, but 
All right, uh, there we go. So we got so Diglett coming out. That doesn't really seem all that too much of a problem. And we'll go right into a uh, clean out here for this one. All right, water pulse. Hey, let's do it. There we go, and that's how we get it done. And level 14. That's how we get it. Oh, and of course, we got ourselves another battle coming up. Oh, this time around, it's gonna be a Zubat. Well, we already got ourselves a Flyer Pokemon already. That would have been my second option, is that if I uh, didn't uh, find uh, another good type of fly type Pokemon, I wouldn't mind uh, getting ourselves a Zubat and have uh, Kobe make a return. There we go, Whisper is already down and out. And here comes out a Wooper. Now, I know that uh, electric type moves are not going to do uh, jack at all with that, uh, with quite, uh, uh, with Wooper, because I think it's also uh, part ground, I think, even when it, when it has its pre evolution. So I'm going to just go and switch. Uh, let's just go and switch into my Lola here. Okay, so let's go and set up for hypnosis first, and then just start setting up with confusions. And hopefully we can get ourselves a crit, or maybe get confused in the process. Come on. Oh, slam. And there we go. That's how we do it. And we are finished with all the battles that are going on. Now, before we go and continue any much farther, let me just go and add our good old rock smash on over. And let's teach that over to HM Slave, and now we are literally set. Okay, let's go and talk down to this youngster, and he's going to take us right on over to the gym. Even though that we can't even do anything about it right now, but it doesn't really matter. Now, I know in, in uh, some of those different little weird type of blue lamp things, you can actually find some items in here, but I'm pretty certain I don't think we can find anything right now in the moment. Okay, well, here's Davey. So, huh? Oh, it's you, Prox. You finally got here. Oh, you're so like always. But anyways, the gym leader is tough. Like, seriously, seriously tough. But if that gym leader is this tough, then I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Uh, anyways, uh, I j uh, the gym leader has gone off to the coal mine. So if you want to go and take out the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. And that is what we're going to be doing. So, whoa, what the heck? There's a cloud guy down here. So, ahoy, trader. We at Jubilee are running a super cool promotion trade right now. Talk to us at the Pokemon Center if you want to find out more. Huh. Well, I don't really care about that, all that too much. But, if you guys probably know, I think only here in Pokemon Platinum exclusively, you can actually find yourself a, uh, a heart scale right in this area. And I think it's just right up and around in this section or something around up here. I think if you just come up right, yep. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's a pearl instead. Alright, so it's not even a heart scale. Alright, guys, that was a dire hit. But I think normally in uh, Pokemon Platinum, you can only find a heart skill right in that spot. I don't think in Diamond and Pearl, you can ever find one in there. Alright, here we are. Orberg Mine. Let's just go right underneath here. Now, uh, also about uh, Brilliant Diamond, uh, yeah, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, I really do like the Orberg Mine kind of setup uh, here for uh, uh, for the Switch because uh, you actually get to see like the, uh, those type of Kavira belts actually uh, so much uh, brighter and bigger than, uh, than than what they were from before. It looks pretty cool. I kind of like uh, all of those uh, kind of like added details to all the all the new uh, area. Well, well, kind of revamped up some of the uh, areas that are there. Alright, there we go. Uh, keep on running on throughout here. Don't really want to be bothering with these Pokemon. Uh, I may probably do some battle with uh, some of these, uh, I, I guess with most of these type of guys that are going to be in here a little bit later. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but uh, we'll just quickly get on out of this. Pick up ourselves a rare bone. Hmm, I think that's something that you can actually sell, which that's going to be relatively helpful for us. All right, so hey there, Rourke. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using this hidden move, Rock Smash, and Bowl blocking your way. There. Simple as that. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, oh, uh, what do you know? Uh, there was a valuable stone inside this rubble. Uh, you don't normally find treasures from bowling boulders in that region. Uh, in fact, that uh, this is an evolution stone. It must be our lucky day. The stone is very pretty, isn't it? Do you recognize what stone this is? Oh, no, what? Oh. I did not expect that that was actually going to be happening right away, and I just literally misclicked on it. I didn't know what other type of stones was gonna be there. I think I saw a moonstone that was just right there at, at like, like, at, like, at, literally at, at like a split second. Uh, I don't really need it, so I'll hand it over to you. Maybe you can evolve with this, like an Eevee, for instance. Uh, well, 
I didn't really want to have Marl. Well, no, I'm actually going to be going for uh, for an Espeon because I kind of want to have uh, that Pokemon on our side. Now, uh, let's just go and continue out throughout here and quickly get on out. Alright. Don't even need to be here in Orbit Mine any more than it has to be. Now, uh, also, too, just want to just let you guys know uh, that I will probably do an, a, uh, an episode of a live stream uh, happening out, I think, maybe on Wednesday. So, uh, just stay tuned for that. Uh, so, if you guys are interested on watching the Wind Waker Randomizer, uh, come and feel free to uh, watch and stop on by and uh, see if we can actually go and continue throughout that game uh, a little bit further on down the road. Uh, but also, too, guys, I'm going to go and end off this episode here for today. In the next one, we are going to be heading on over to Rourke's Gym, getting ourselves our cool badge, and see if we can be able to uh, hopefully uh, continue our way throughout here in this game. And uh, hopefully we don't die uh, with our, our way on trying to get ourselves uh, Rourke's badge. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.